Iron Supporting Food Banks collects food and cash donations for needy families in Newham Borough and beyond. Please consider making a donation via their Just Giving page, the link for which you will find in the description section of this stream. Come on you Irons! Hello, welcome back to the West Ham Massive. Thanks for joining me. And as I always ask you to do, please kindly like, comment on, please comment on. I'm going to need your help on this one. Uh, share this stream to your social media platforms. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't done so already and hit the bell icon for alerts and new content. All these things take a couple of seconds for you to do, are completely free of charge to you, and they help us to grow the channel from its current base to something bigger and better. We thank you very much indeed for your support in this matter. So we're in the middle of an international break. Uh, we've obviously got England have got a game tomorrow, as I recall this. By the time you see it, it will be later on today. Um, and an another t couple of teams are playing besides. One of them is uh, Germany. And the reason I mentioned Germany is because of this particular story that has reared its head. And by the time you see this, I'm pretty sure you'll be fully aware of this story is already broken. Uh, this is obviously, I've taken this from Hammers News. There's a number of different resources elsewhere that I could have utilised. But this one, the headline, as you can see there, disaster strikes for West Ham as new star Nicholas Falkrug withdraws from the Germany squad with an injury. Now, as I say, there's there's plenty of stories out there about this, so I'm sure you can go and, and find your own resource. You probably already know the crack. Um, but yeah, I mean, it just seems to be that we, we seem to be cursed uh, as far as players going away on international duty is concerned. I mean, I'm old enough to remember, and I'm sure you guys do as well, some of you, if you're old enough, that is, of a certain vintage, to remember a certain Dean Ashton going away and playing international duty. He got an injury and he was never quite the same player and it led directly to his retirement. I'm not saying that this is going to be that magnitude. I, I don't want to sort of overblow it yet. There's still a lot of a lot of stories that are going to come out, a lot of medical reports and analysis and all the rest of it. And we'll get a full a, a full diagnosis over time. But at the minute, it would appear from the early news reports that we're getting is that Nicholas Falkrug has sustained a Achilles slash calf injury of some description. Now, it could be a minor level strain and it could be something a bit more sinister. Hopefully it is not the latter hopefully it's just a, a sort of like fairly straightforward injury and he's he's out for no real length of time at all i think it's fairly safe to say though that it casts a big big shadow over the fulham game i think that the chances of him being involved are probably remote to say the least uh it would appear that he's he's had some uh he was he was training ahead of the game that germany had which was against the Netherlands, uh, he lasted about 15 minutes from the report that I've read uh, before he he decided to abort mission. And it's a real shame because he actually scored in the previous game that Germany had where they beat Hungary 5-0. So it's a real shame. I mean, you know, we've obviously brought him in. Big money signing, striker, played in a Champions League, Champions League final not so long ago. 23, 24, 25 million, however much he cost. Um, he's obviously come in with a fairly sort of big reputation, big expectation as well. You know, we've obviously had an awful lot of strikers in the David Sullivan era of, of his stewardship at the club. I believe it's 53 strikers that we've had. The vast majority of them, let's be fair, have, have not really done an awful lot up front for West Ham. Um, hopefully, hopefully this guy will be different, but this is not a good start. He's obviously, he's not had a Premier League start as yet. It would appear he's not going to get a Premier League start against Fulham. This is really bad news. Really, really bad news for the player as well. Um, but obviously, we just seem to be cursed. So then, obviously, you're then asking the question, what are we going to do for the game against Fulham? Well, there's a number of ways we could look to attack that particular problem. Obvious 
one would probably be that to persist with Mikel Antonio. But let's be completely honest, he's not really looked anything up to the mark in the in the games that he's played in the Premier League so far this season. Then you've obviously got the obvious one that we could probably do is put putting Jared Bowen, moving him from his position on the right and playing him as a striker. Now, personally, and I've said this before, I'll say it again, my personal opinion is that's his position. That's the position where I think we get the best out of him. And, and to be honest with you, unless we had absolutely no option, I would probably suggest not changing that. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? But it may well be that out of necessity, maybe, maybe we do have to move Jared Bowen and play him up front. Now, obviously, that then might free up Mohamed Kadus to move him over to the right. It's often been speculated that he's wasted out on the left and he would look much better either having a position, his default position being on the right or a, a number 10 roaming role behind the main striker, either or. So it could well be that out of this necessity, it might actually be that Mohamed Kadus might actually be the beneficiary in a, in a strange sort of way of uh, a problem that's befell his teammate at club level. There is, though, another option that could be, and, and I'm not saying that this is what we should do, and I'm not saying we shouldn't, and that's why you've got a comment section below. You can get stuck into this, but there is a third option, and it's a player that uh, probably for most of his time has been a player that we've derided in Claret and Blue. Maybe not sort of derided, maybe that's a strong word, but certainly one that we've, I don't think it's fair to say we've not got value for money out of, and that's Danny Ings. I mean, cast your mind back. It wasn't so long ago. Yes, I know it was behind closed doors. Yes, I know it was against Dagenham and Redbridge, but he scored a hat-trick. You know, he can only score against the team that's put in front of him. He did score a hat-trick. Could it be even that Danny Ings might even get a go? Personally, I, I'd probably say no. I'd say out of the three options that I've just suggested there, Antonio, Bowen, Danny Ings. I think Danny Ings is option number three for me out of those three. Probably the the option that I think we would probably have to go to if it was me. I think, yeah, probably on balance, it would probably be moving Jared Bowen and playing him as a striker and moving Caduce across and doing something in that regard and maybe playing Somerville on the left, playing Paqueta just behind the, the striker, obviously, in this instance, Bowen. But this is obviously a real spanner in the works, I think it's fair to say. Our, our striker has been put out for a, a length of time. We don't know, yet know. And as I say, if it's a low-level injury, if it's, if we're just talking a strain, then he, he might only be out for the Fulham game, potentially. Who knows? But if we're talking something more sinister, if we're talking a tear, if we're talking a rupture, Potentially, this could be him out for the season and maybe into the following season to boot. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that at this early stage, that it's it's nothing to worry about in that regard. But we need to prepare ourselves that this actually may well be our big striker signing, you know, big reputation, played in the Champions League final. He scored a couple of great goals at the Euros. As I say, scored the other day for Germany in, a Hungary, in the game against Hungary, where they won 5-0 Germany. And now it looks like he's he's going to be out for a length of time. Really bad news. But what would you do? What would you do out of those three options? You know, we we can only deal with what we've got. I think it's fair to say he's going to be out of the Fulham game. What would you do? Would you persist with and Mikel Antonio as your starting striker? Would you move Jared Bowen as the striker? Move him up front. Move Kudus across to the right. Bring Somerville in on the left gives him an opportunity as well to shine, as well as giving Caduce one of his favoured positions on the park, as opposed to slinging him out on the left, where I don't think you get the best out of him. Or might even Danny Yings be a surprise? Could he possibly get into the manager's thoughts on the back of a hat-trick against Dagenham and Redbridge in the pre in the clo behind closed doors friendly the other day um, when John Egan got a run out? Um, let me know your thoughts. The comment sections below get stuck into that. As I say, hopefully it's nothing too much to worry about. And we will find this out possibly by the time this stream goes out tomorrow. As I record this, we may know a bit more 
fingers crossed it's nothing too sinister, but I think he's very in all likelihood he's going to be out of the Fulham game. So what would you do? Get your comments in below. Thanks for joining us, guys. Please don't forget to like, comment on and share this stream to your social media platforms. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to hit the bell icon for alerts and new content. All these actions are free for you to implement. They take you a couple of seconds and they help the channel to grow from where it is currently onto something bigger and better down the track. Thanks for joining us, guys. Stay safe. Come on, you Irons, and please don't forget to give your support to the Iron Supporting Food Banks charity. We will see you next time. Iron Supporting Food Banks collects food and cash donations for needy families in Newham Borough and beyond. Please consider making a donation via their Just Giving page, the link for which you will find in the description section of this stream. Come on, you Irons.